Cape Canaveral 1958 Project XM770. A launch tower rolled back to reveal the exotic, far-out-looking Navajo, a new concept in nuclear weaponry, a new wrinkle in the tense, desperate arms race with the Soviet Union. Today, the Navajo is back, a gaudy red and white landmark at the entrance to Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. To some people, it's, it's a stunning design. To others, it's a bit of a Frankenstein. But to every space fan, it is significant and looked on with a certain affection. It led the way to several successful programs later on. It even bears a resemblance to the space shuttle. It's a likable missile just because of its unique look, its unique place in history. The Navajo was a cruise missile mounted on a rocket. The rocket would carry the missile to 70,000 feet at Mach 3, and then the missile's jet engines would take over to carry it to the target. But in a series of test launches back in the 50s, it never did hit a target. Most Navajos blew up before getting there. And in 2016, this Navajo, the only complete one in the world, was wrecked by Hurricane Matthew. Now its restoration has been completed, and it has gone back on display near the Sands Space History Center, which is free and open six days a week. People are excited to see it back here on the Cape and become a part of our interpretation of the Cape's history. The Navajo is located at the entrance to Cape Canaveral Space Force Station on State Road 401. You can stand right here. That's pretty cool. At the Cape, Dan Billow, West 2 News. Well, next on West 2, did you find yourself mixing a lot of drinks in quarantine? A new survey ranked the top drink by state. See if you can guess what...